Russia's in big trouble on battlefield in Ukraine. Military economy is bogging down. Russia suffers heavy losses on the battlefield. It does not have enough ammunition and troops to launch a large-scale offensive in Ukraine. Reuters writes about it. We believe that to conduct real offensive operations, Russia will have to provide significant supplies of ammunition from other countries in addition to those that it already receives from Iran and North Korea. And Vladimir Putin will have to order a new large-scale mobilization, a senior NATO official said on condition of anonymity. He also said the recent arson attacks, assassination plots and sabotage in Europe are part of a covert campaign by Russian President Vladimir Putin to undermine public support for Ukraine. In addition, according to the official, Russia is suffering very large losses, trying to keep small territorial gains and not having enough troops and ammunition for a large-scale offensive. What they have to do is order understaffed, inexperienced units to move into areas to achieve unrealistic goals, the source told Reuters. According to his estimates, Russia will be able to maintain its military economy for another three to four years. He explained that it takes time for Ukraine to accumulate the ammunition and personnel necessary to conduct new large-scale offensive operations. We see that the Ukrainian defense has improved significantly. We see that they are improving every day. The official stressed, through the spring and early summer, Russian troops tried to take territory outside the city of Kharkiv and renew a push in eastern Ukraine to capitalize on their seizure of Avdiivka. Russia has suffered thousands of casualties in the drive while gaining little new territory. Russia's problems represent a significant change in the dynamic of the war which had favored Moscow in recent months. Russian forces continue to inflict pain, but their incremental advances have been slowed by the Ukrainians' hardened lines. The months ahead will not be easy for Ukraine. But Allied leaders gathering in Washington for the 75th anniversary of the founding of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization can legitimately argue that their efforts to strengthen Ukraine are working. Ukraine destroyed $200 million worth of Russian missiles in one day. On July the 8th, Russia launched a massive missile strike on Ukraine. Russia spent about $200 to $250 million on this, Forbes reports. The article states that the Russian Federation launched 38 air, sea and land-based missiles at Ukraine. One KH-47M2 Kinzhal aero-ballistic missile, four Iskander-M ballistic missiles, one 3M22 Zircon cruise missile, 13 X-101 cruise missiles, 14 caliber cruise missiles, 2 X-22 cruise missiles, 3 guided aircraft missiles, KH-59 stroke KH-69. At the same time, the Ukrainian Air Force managed to destroy 30 of the 38 missiles. The cost of the downed missiles is estimated at between 160 million and 200 million dollars. According to the Kiev School of Economics, as of May 2024, due to the full-scale Russian invasion, Ukraine's energy sector suffered direct losses and indirect financial losses amounting to $56.2 billion, the article says. American F-16 fighters will help Ukraine defend itself from Russian missile terror. It is also necessary to strike military aircraft while they are still on Russian territory. This opinion was expressed by military expert Pavel Narozny, in a commentary to focus. According to him, the Russian invaders are looking for ways to overload Ukraine's air defense in order to break through it and strike the necessary targets. Based on the command's statistics, it is clear that the capabilities of Ukrainian air defense systems are insufficient. The West needs to immediately pay attention to the problem and begin supplying long-range weapons. It is better to destroy Russian aircraft at airfields, he believes. Several dozen F-16 fighters will also help cover the skies from Russian massive shelling, the expert says. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have promised to transfer about 80 F-16 multi-role fighters to Ukraine. The exact dates for sending the first birds are unknown, but this should happen this summer. Earlier, the head of the Danish Air Force, Jan Dam, reported that some of the Ukrainian specialists who were trained to service Western fighters are already in Ukraine. 